What is up, everybody? We are back. It is another edition of According to Seth. We got more reviews to do. I know I disappeared on you for a little bit there. I apologize. I've kind of just been getting in my own little head here, just been dealing with different life things, and I just kind of got a little too much at some points, but we're back, and that's all that matters. And I hope you still enjoy my content, because I'm not going to stop anytime soon. But we saw Evil Dead Rise last night, and yo, this movie? First of all, yeah, this thing? No, I, I, I can't look at cheese graters the same ever again. The Evil Dead franchise somehow seems to find a way to stay consistent throughout all of their films. I don't think there's a bad one in this whole entire franchise, and this one's no different. So, mommy is indeed with the maggots now, because Alyssa Sutherland absolutely crushed the living shit out of this, and is probably one of my favorite villains in the entire Evil Dead franchise. The Deadite took hold of her, and she took hold back, and just the acting and how she portrayed just being possessed, mind-blowing. So hats off to you. And here we have Lily Sullivan, yet another badass in the entire Evil Dead franchise, wielding a chainsaw. And honestly, she was fantastic in this role. And throughout the franchise, they do a really good job of like highlighting their heroines or heroes um, who kind of rise to the occasion. And the shit that they have to go through and the amount of fake blood, it's a lot. Honestly... All of the cast did very well in this one. Essentially what this one's about is you have Beth who comes home to visit her sister Ellie. A lot's changed, um, especially within Ellie's um, relationship with her husband and different things like that. And then Beth finding out that she's pregnant. She basically is going there to get some advice from her sister. And, um, you know, characters do stupid things and they're, it's no different in this one. Um, the son ends up finding the Necrocomicon, unleashes hell, and from there things just get batshit crazy. The Evil Dead franchise has always had a soft spot in my heart. It's always been one of those just bloody good times. It's a great theater experience. Is this one my favorite of the bunch? No, but it's a really, really good addition. And Lee Cronin does a really good job of pulling in the comedic elements from the er earlier films and in the 2013 remake, which is fantastic, by the way, pulling in the dark elements from that. And this movie gets dark. And they also pull in some new things, expanding on the lore um, and... There's something that they pull from the Necromonicon that you'll see what I'm talking about when it shows up. I wasn't expecting that, and it was it was a lot to witness. I also really enjoyed all the little horror Easter eggs that Lee Cronin threw in there. You can tell he's a horror fan, and that one thing he pulled from The Shining, I loved it. This one was a great theater experience. If you want to get the crap scared out of you and you just want to see a ton of blood and guts, this is the one for you. All in all, I'm giving it 7 sets out of 10. I really did enjoy this one. I thought the cast did phenomenal, and I can't wait to see more.